What's going on everybody? Um, so I got a question um, about the Campagnolo uh, Bora WTOs, um, the full carbon wheel from uh, Campagnolo. And someone asked me uh, whether to get the 33s or the 45s um, that uh, signifies the um, the rim depth around for 33 millimeters and 45 millimeters. Well, actually today we have a service here those are um, the 45s actually and you see those are in general really cool wheels we have a uh, full carbon rim uh, really nice wide uh, braking surface that has some um, like a little roughness to it that will uh, provide a nice braking power and the closed rim bed which is really an amazing feature because you can just mount the tubeless tire and get it to seal and then later put the sealant in no worries, you don't have to do the rim tape always uh, because that can be quite uh, can be quite a lot of work to get the rim tape really nice and tight on the rim in order to seal. Um, you get the valves with it, um, with the, uh, the wheels and they really have a cool look to them I think. So you see the carbon structure in the, in the rim is really nice and it has a rather dark label that is not very, uh, very nervous. If you, if you turn the, the rim. So whether to get the 33s or the 45s uh, as front wheel here. And the only real difference is uh, because, yeah, well the depth of, of course, and then the weight. Yeah, we have the 33s. 1,395 grams for the pair. 45s, 1,496, so we have 101 grams. So that may uh, not seem like a whole lot, but you have to consider um, if the weight is on the rims and it's very much likely so because the hubs and the spokes are exactly the same. So the weight is on the rims and 100 grams is actually quite a lot for a rim. So this 100 grams in rotating weight that you will have to always get up to speed with your watts. So 100 grams is uh, well, quite a lot if you think, um, it's like uh, an inner tube, a normal inner tube from Schwalbe, not the light ones, is difference between a non-tubeless and a tubeless uh, tire is around 100 grams if it's, uh, if it's a lot. So you really need to consider which one to get. Uh, if you really want the lightest possible for say really fast climbing, and the 33s will of course be really nice. If you don't really care about the weight, but you want um, some efficient uh, wind cutting on the flats, then the 45s of course are the better choice because in the flats the, the weight doesn't really matter, but the additional depth of the, of the rim will provide you with more aerodynamic advantage than the 33. Although the 33s also uh, are shaped really aerodynamically because uh, WTO means uh, wind tunnel optimized so uh, the features and the aero characteristics especially in crosswinds will be really really similar the 45s will just maybe get that little bit of advantage in the flats that was it quick little video about those two uh, wheel sets thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one